गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू द फिफ्थ पोएम ऑफ योर इंग्लिश रीडर बुक एंड द नेम ऑफ द पोएम इज द स्कूल बॉय स्टूडेंट्स दिस पोएम इज रिटन बाय विलियम ब्लैक ओके इन दिस पोएम द स्कूल बॉय इज नॉट हैप्पी बिकॉज ही डज नॉट लाइक टू स्टे under the strict supervision of the teachers he likes to rise in the summer morning he likes to be with the natural things he likes when the birds start singing but when he had to go to school he did not like so why he compares himself as a bird that live in a cage and why he is not happy to know this just start this poem just read this poem open the book at page number 84 i love to rise in a summer morn when the birds sing on every tree the distant huntsman winds his horn and the skylark sings with me who oh, what sweet company the school boy the little boy is saying that he loves to rise in summer morning he likes to rise in summer morning when the birds start singing on every tree and the hunters blow their horns from distance and the skylark bird starts singing with him at that time he is very happy and oh what sweet company means the singing of the birds the blowing horns of the hunters the singing of the skylark bird with the boy these are the sweet company of the little boy of the school boy he likes these companies okay he likes to rise in summer morning when the birds start singing on every tree when the hunters start blowing his blowing their horns uh from distance and when the skylark bird starts starts singing with the little child at that time he likes the company of all this all the birds all he likes the company of these all these okay see the second stanza but to go to school in a summer morn oh it drives all joy away under a cruel eye out on the little ones spend the day in shine and dismay but when he had to go to school but when the little child had go to school when the little child had go to school at that time here the feelings of that little child is written but when he had to go to school in that summer morning it drives all his joy all his happiness away it snatched is took all his happiness away because he thought that he will have to spend his time under the strict supervision of the teachers under the cruel eye of the teachers the little children the little school boys like him they spent their day in unhappiness and uh, uneasy in an easy way all the little ones had to spend their day without happiness 
and uh, without easy way anxiously now see the third stanza uh, then at times I drooping sit and spend many an anxious hour nor in my book can I take delight nor sit in learning's bower one throw with the dreary, dreary shower in third stanza the school boy has gone to school and uh, here the feelings of that school boy when he has reached the school at that time how he feels it has been mentioned uh, then at times I drooping sit droop means men and means at school timing at school I sit how hanging his head down the school boy sat there hanging his head down and he spent many an excess hour he could not take delight in books neither he when this child when the school boy is in the school he sits hanging his head down he spends many hours there many anxious hours there neither he takes delight in his book and nor in bower shaded place and nor he takes delight in shaded place where he can learn many things but he does not like that place neither he like the books he has no interest in books as well as the shaded place where he could learn many things he gets fed up with the dull with the gloomy words he gets fed up with the shower of the gloomy words of the dull words of the teachers okay Now see the fourth stanza. How can the bird that is born for joy sit in a cage and sing? How can a child when fears annoy but droop his tender wings and forget his youthful spring? Here the school bird, here the poet compares the life of the school bird with the bird. How can the bird that is born for joy when the bird is caged? How can a bird sing in a cage? How can a bird sing sitting in a cage? Because the bird is born for joy. The, the bird is born to live freely. But when the bird is caged, it will be impossible for him uh, to sing in a case in the same way when a child is when a child is fearing when a child is sitting hanging his head down and he is forgetting all his youthful spring day then how he can be happy how the little boy can be happy when he has to play at that time he is fearing he is under the supervision of the teachers he is under the cruel eyes of the teacher so how he will be happy at that time the poet is advising the parents in the last stanza oh father and mother if birds are nipped and blossoms blown away and if the tender plants are stripped of their joy in the springing day by sorrow and cares dismay how shall the summer arise in joy or the summer fruits appear the poet is saying that oh parents oh father and mother if the birds are nipped nipped if the birds birds are not birds sorry birds are destroyed in its 
early stage of development and the blooms blown away and if the tender plants if the joy of the tender plants is taken away from it then how shall the summer arise in joy if the tender buds are destroyed in its early stage of development when the buds are developing when the buds are under the process of development and uh, these buds are destroyed and when the joy of the tender plants is taken away from it then how shall the summer rise in joy and uh, how the summer fruit appear means without a happy childhood we shall have only a winter of sorrow here the poet advises the parents that they should not deprive the joy and the freedom of their children for the sake of studies depriving them of joy and freedom is depriving them of the joy and freedom means to deprive them to deprive the world of its spring means the parents should not deprive the children of their joy and of their happiness they should take care of their children but they should also take care about their happiness about their joy and about their freedom okay so the poem is over students i have written the word meaning some word meanings here you will write these word meanings some word meanings have been given in book you will also write the word meanings in the book and after that i will provide the exercise of this poem along with this video so you will write this exercise in your notebook also that's all for today thank you and have a nice day ahead